Big cliche, g'day folks, and welcome to the latest snapshot. We've got uh, 13W38A. I'm going to touch on a few things that are involved with this um, for this video, mainly the new biomes that we've got, currently standing in one, I'll tell you about it in a moment. Uh, they're also covering new achievements, new items, and new enchants. Uh, so firstly, just a quick note, what I did want to mention is, as you can see in the top right of the screen there, it ha does have the, uh, the achievements um, box that we're all used to, but when I actually do the achievement, bottom left there, you can see that it actually does, hello Mr Wolf, it does appear in the chat. Um, so I'll move on from here and start talking about the new biomes. As you can see, I am currently in a new biome. Well, it's kind of, kind of new, kind of not. What they're actually doing now is they're associating uh, temperatures um, with uh, with each biome. So this is the tiger biome, as we know it and love it. A few additions. We got some new flowers here, some new plants. There's the large fern. Wolvies are still spawning here. We're still getting mushrooms, but because it's not overly cold, this tiger does not have any snow. There are variants of it, um, and they are specifically in the F3 um, stated with their temperature. So you can find cold tiger, uh, which will look like we know and love. So let's move on to the next one. I'm going to stick in the same temperature, I think. I'm nicely adjusted to this, uh, to this cold. I've got my earmuffs on and all. So I'll see you in the next biome. So speaking of the little changes, like I mentioned, with the temperatures, the variance between the two tiger biomes, uh, they have actually done a little variant or an authentication, as I like to call it, on the uh, Extreme Hills biome that I'm standing in the middle of. Uh, as you can see now, there's been snow added to um, certain Y coordinates uh, above that and also spruce trees there so um, the snow added to the Y is actually independent of biomes as well so if you find another biome um, that is above a certain Y uh, you will find snow on that one as well so just short and sweet let's move on so just quickly folks this is what I was talking about with the uh, with the description of temperatures now there's uh, they are classifying the four new temperatures there's the snow covered the cold the medium and the dry and warm um, as you can see here this is what we knew and loved as our original tiger it's now classified as the cold tiger and if I just do a little bit of a doo -doo -doo, we have the cold tiger hills and a chicken spy so um close up um this is just to let you know guys that yeah now in the description they are classified under their temperatures and there's one more cold biome i'm heading to right now before we start getting into the warmer weather well it's been a hard trek guys but i finally made it and i'm freezing uh here we have arrived in our final chili biome this is the ice spikes and isn't that beautiful I'm going to have a lot of fun building here and I do know my good friend Yasera the Dreamer who is our little awkward penguin is going to be making many many igloos with these ice spikes so I think it's time for a bit of a temperature change don't you folks now guys this is when it really starts getting very interesting the new additions to the biomes are quite exciting uh, what I did have to do because I could not find one was actually source out a good seed for this new biome so I do have to give a shout out to XX lots of fun XX uh, for giving me the seed to this uh, which actually spawns you basically next to this new biome which is the mega tiger now I'm gonna have a quick look around for you um, because there are some new additions uh, such as I'm standing on the dirt blocks um, with a value of one which do not allow grass to grow so you can see mushrooms ferns this in front of me here this is podzol this is a new um, style of um, dirt it can be only um, gotten with the silk touch uh, but does spread like a mycelium or grass block does um, as you can see yeah the pine trees are pretty darn huge two by two and this is one that I absolutely love we've got the mossy cobble mossy stone boulders scattered throughout the mega tiger as well I do love doing pathways through uh, through my farms with the mossy cobble and you just can't find them uh, they're quite rare unless you uh, unless you find your spawners or what have you so um, I'm gonna be uh, probably creating a lot of cabins in woods 
I literally can't believe this, folks. As rare as it is, I have come across the mushroom biome. This is fantastic. Uh, now, it's funny because I couldn't find the previous biome, so I went and, um, and searched for a seed. Again, thank you, XX. Lots of fun, XX. Uh, so this seed is in the generator, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nice and easy. Um, and it's not in larger biomes or anything like that. Now, as I was flying across, not only did I find uh, two more mega tiger biomes, but this, uh, this mushroom island as well. Uh, one thing I did want to show you folks is the addition to the particles. So as I land, I love it. I thought you guys would like to see that if you hadn't noticed it already. Um, and I know that the Mushroom Island isn't new, but I just think it's adorable. And welcome back, guys. As I've touched down in this mini plains biome, you can see what I'm surrounded by here. This is our new roofed forest biome. So if I just have a little bit of a look, you can see the spruce trees do spawn here in a two by two fashion, the occasional birch, yes. But the better feature of this biome, you can see in the distance there, we do have the giant mushrooms in both the red and the brown varieties. Now it is said that due to the darkness of this biome that there is a possibility that evil mobs can spawn during the day. They also are harboured here for safety of the daytime when they've spawned at night. So it's going to be quite a dangerous little biome here. Right, crack down the ravine there too. Um, but moving on from here, I was quite lucky to find these two spawning next to each other. Here we have our other little forest biome, our new little forest biome, which is the birch forest. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this one because I absolutely adore building with birch. I find the birch wood has very clean lines, nice, nicely polished. So here's our two new additions, two of our new additions to the forest style biomes. So folks, leaving the roofed forest behind me, I am coming up on the next biome, sneaking up on the next biome, which is the beautiful and very, very girly flower forest. I will in a moment go through, just in my inventory list, the, the uh, new flowers that have been added. But these are the days I wish I'd learned how to make a daisy chain to wear on my head as a crown. Aren't they lovely? The girliness is going to come out in everyone. Bit of a 180 there. So as you can see in the decorations tab here, dandelion, nothing much different there. But we also have the poppy. We've got the blue orchid. That's the allium. We've got the azure bluette or bluet. Uh, the four varieties of tulip. There's red, orange, white and pink. The oxide daisy or as I would like to call it, the oxy daisy. And just down the bottom, we've got the double flowers, the sunflower there, the lilac, the double tall grass, the large fern, the rose bush, and the peony, which you can actually see just to the right of, uh, there it is. There's the peony right there. So a couple, uh, a couple of flowers back there, I did mention the sunflower. Sunflowers have actually got a rightful place. Let's go and find it. So folks, as the sun rises in the east, I turn around to find the sunflower in its proper home. And that is the sunflower plains. Aren't they pretty? So they are the double tall, one of the new double tall items that have been added. And you can see they actually will always face the east. So let us have a little look here. No matter which way you're standing, chucking one of these little beauties down they're always going to face oh, not that. <laughs> face the east I did check I cycled through the times they don't follow the Sun which I'm actually hoping might be an addition uh, because in real life IRL sunflowers actually do follow the Sun during the day um, so this here is uh, is our last 
spring slash autumn themed biome. Uh, and speaking of sunflowers, I think it's a little time for some fun in the sun. What do you say, folks? And welcome back, guys. We have finally arrived in the savannah, our second to last biome on today's video. Now, I've saved this second to last because the final one currently is my least favourite and I know six months down the track it's going to be my most favourite. So, at this point I am going to say saving the best till last, but um, I don't believe myself right now. Back to the savannah though. Uh, I'm standing right in the middle of three different variants uh, for three different reasons of the savannah. Now, down there in the valley below, that is your regular savannah, displaying the jungle trees fashioned as an acacia that you do find in savannah. Now if I pan to the left, this here is the savannah M. You can see that there's a lot more rock formations there. It's a lot more barren. It does also contain the dirt blocks with a value of 1, which do not allow grass to grow. But doing a bit of a 180, turn myself around. If you're in the savannah and you do come across a mountain with a flattened top, you will find yourself on the savannah plateau. So I have to say this does have an absolutely gorgeous view. Uh, horses spawn in the savannah, uh, along with the plains, like usual. But the other thing, see, look at the view. The other thing which I'm most excited about, uh, because it raises chances of finding them, is that NPC villagers now also spawn here as well. Uh, one of the bug fixes from what I heard in the in a part of this screenshot was that uh, as it was written NPC villagers now spawn properly so I think in the past as the Sun goes over that mountain in the past you would have noticed that it was very difficult to find an NPC village so not only is there a third of a chance more to find one but I believe that they're just spawning a lot more often now anyway I want to live here. <laughs> so as I mentioned, we do have one more biome to go. I'm going to have to start flying to find it. I'll see you there in a minute. And here we are, guys. We have arrived in the final biome, the Mesa biome. Uh, as I mentioned, this one's not going to be one of my favourites. It's going to be great to uh, collect resources, but these are as rare as your mushroom islands, so they will be difficult to find. As with some of the other biomes, there are variants. You can see behind me there is a small section of oak trees. They're quite dead. That's on the flat surface of the mesa just up there, so that is a mesa plateau. Now, for some reason, my computer's not liking moving around, panning around in this biome. So I'll do my best without lag, but here you have it. I'm basically down in the center of a canyon with the color, colored hardened clay. So as I mentioned, yeah, it's not, uh, not overly pretty. Dead plants everywhere. Great for resources. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of big builds out there uh, built legit with a lot of colored hardened clay. But other than that, I don't see myself falling in love with this one. Maybe six months down the track, you never know. So that's it for this snapshot, folks. I hope you've enjoyed it. Just remember to check out the Minecraft wiki for all the rest of the information on new enchantments, new enchantments, new achievements, and other funky things that are going on. So this has been Carrot Top, signing out.